Hey guys, AJ here from 3D Printing Systems again. Another maintenance video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to clean the extruder drive gear on the print head of your UpMini 2. First, we need to withdraw the filament from your print head. Now doing this on the front screen, we'll select material and then retract. While the print head is heating up, we'll take off the two lid covers. Open the front door, open the rear door, raise the handle and then lift each cover away. Your printer will beep to let you know that it's started to retract the filament. There we go, so ours is just starting to come out. And when it's all the way out, you can remove your filament and move it to the side. Next, turn your printer off at the back. And to remove the print head, unplug the rainbow ribbon cable from the top. Grab the print head on the sides, being careful because it will still be hot. Give it a bit of a wiggle and lift upwards and out. It's best to wait for your print head to cool down before you start the cleaning procedure. Now that ours has, we're going to look at disassembling it. So on the top, first thing we need to do is unplug this white fan cable. Removing the fan cable, we've got two screws that we need to undo, one here and one here. So we'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. Once those two screws have been removed, hold the motor section here at the back, or where this plate is, this black plastic plate, and then pull the cover away from the motor. Now underneath, we have this white cover over the drive gear that we can see inside the hole. So we're going to remove that. That's got two Allen key type screws, so you should have received an Allen key of this size with your printer. We're going to undo those and take those out. Now once you've removed those two allen keys, we need to take off this white cap. So I usually use my allen key as a lever to pop it out. And underneath we can see the drive gear that pulls the filament through. So the filament is inserted here, comes down past the drive gear, and then goes down into our extruder assembly or our extruder block. Now to clean this, what you'll usually find is a bit of plastic dust around the drive gear. Now, there's two reasons why this, why this might happen. It's a natural part of the printing process for plastic dust to accumulate around this geared tooth as it pulls the plastic through. Now, if this happens quite quickly and you haven't done a lot of printing, it may indicate that your nozzle is set too close to the platform. So you may need to make a nozzle adjustment. But if you do find a little bit of plastic dust, just use your toothbrush, just like cleaning your teeth, give it a good scrub, and then blow any excess out. Once you've done that, drive gear is all clean, we can look at putting it back together. If you've got some really stubborn parts in between these teeth, maybe use something sharp like a pair of tweezers to flick them out. Right, but we'll put the, uh, put the cover back on and we'll put our print head back together. Now when you're putting your print, print cover back onto your motor, there's a couple of things to take note of. Now on the motor we can see this yellow cable for the extruder and the black and red cable for the LED. Make sure that they're sitting over the black section of the motor because when they get inserted into the print head cover they'll sit on one side opposite the fan and that'll prevent any heat from the print head being transferred to these cables and prevent any damage. Now on the cover also take note of the little fan door lever. This can slip out when you're putting your print head together or when you're taking it apart for maintenance so just make sure it slots back in this way. You've got the little L shape that goes over the trap door and you've got the inserts that hold it in place. Once you've checked that, pop the motor back in, make sure it clicks into place, check underneath where your LED sits, it should slot in just over here so that when you do use your light you can see what's going on during printing. There we go. On top we'll put our screws back in. There we go. One more screw. And then once we've got these screws in, then we can plug the fan back into its plug. There we go. Drive gear's clean. Print head's ready to go back in the printer, ready to continue printing.
to install the print head back in your printer. The procedure is just the same as when we took it out. So make sure it slots into place. There's these four locating sections and four locating sections on the mount. Slide downwards, make sure you hear a click, and then push the rainbow cable back into its slot. Ready to print.